we're in the month of Av. On the ninth day of Av, we go by the moon, right? The moon of Av is the end of the moon of Av. And the moon of Av is. It, just a sec. The, uh, of, the whole idea of, uh, you know, of of is the lion. The lion roars and everyone's afraid. Both temples, the first temple built by Shlomo, Solomon, was, uh, stood for 410 years, was destroyed on the ninth day of of. And Josephus tells us, and besides the Gomorrah and everything else, Josephus, the historian, was there at the sacking of Rome. And he says, an extraordinary, it happens on the same day, the ninth of of. That temple stood for 420 years. And, uh, and so we're in of, and Mars comes to it closest to the Earth. I mean, from what I've read, the closest it can ever come to the Earth. It, it comes on this day, which is the last day of of. And what is the month after of? Is Basula, is, is, is Elu, the Virgin. And, 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 and what do we do uh, on that day? There's something we do uh, 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 on this day, is we, we sound the shofar. We sound the shofar to remind us of Yom Kippur, which is 40 days away. At the end of Yom Kippur, we throw the shofar. And this begins the time of tshuva, of return. So we see just as Mars has reached its fullness as far as the Earth is concerned, and also the, the, you know, the sun closest to the sun, and it begins its retreat, we can begin the thousand years of woman. Because this is like the sixth day of the week where you begin Shabbos, you don't wait till the last minute, you start it beforehand. So, so, so I wanted to do something, so I thought I would herald it in by uh, blowing the chauffeur. Now the only thing is, well, chauffeur here. The only thing is, we don't blow the chauffeur at night. I could do it in the morning, but in many things, you remember that I, I, I told you, uh, Prisa, this story. A little boy, his name was Menachem. And he came in, he was crying, his grandfather uh, said, come sit on my lap. Grandfather was a great, wise man. He says, what's wrong? He says, I was out playing. I was out playing hide and seek with my friends. I got this really, just the best hiding place you could imagine. And my friends, they looked around for them, and then they, they just left. They even looked for me. That's why I'm crying. So the grandfather starts to cry. So the boy stops. He says, I understand. Child, why are you crying? <laughs> So the grandfather says, you know, it's just that way with the Creator also. The Creator hid the Creator's self in this pattern of creation and said, come, come my children, come find me. And no one's looking. Later, as Menachem became older, so uh, he, he wanted to learn with his grandfather. And his grandfather, at a certain time, he learned with the family, but he said, no, Menachem's too young. And Menachem was crying, I want to learn, I want to learn. No, you can't learn. You have to wait till you get older. So at that time, they had, like they had, you know, uh, the way they did heat is they had these things in the wall and the heat came through them. You had one central place. So he crawled into there and he was listening. And it got cold and so people took care of the heat, started making a fire. And all of a sudden smoke starts coming out and they, and they take Menachem out and he's unconscious. Seems like he's dead. Grandfather puts his, you know, you know the, 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 his wife, the, the, his grandmother starts screaming, screaming at her husband. Look what you did. You wouldn't let him learn. Now look what you did. And he said, put his hand on his forehead and, and revived him. And told her, in order to learn, one must be ready to uh, give their soul for it. You must see us nefesh. Later, perhaps connected to this, there was a fire in their house much later, and now Menachem's a grown man with children. They're all living in this house, and, uh, and there's a fire. And, 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 and his grandfather, not an old man by then, tells him, Ooh, I had written this book called Sefer HaTzadikim, the book for righteous people. You know about this, and Menachem says, Yeah, but you put on it, Kerem Rebbein Gershon, no one can open this book. So his grandfather said, what happened to your Messiris Nefesh? You weren't ready to give up your soul for this? You didn't read the book, now it's gone. 
So sometimes we have to do things that even they're not prescribed, but who knows, maybe it will do something in the world. It says that when Mashiach comes, there will, there will be a show for sound, it will be heard all over the world. So one way to bring Mashiach is, you know, we can start first. So uh, I want to enter in the thousand years, I want to usher in the thousand years of woman. You see we have all the plants here up in the window, and we have the moon bigger than any of them. Because the moon, and I, I mean I just, I can't quite stop myself from talking, I know it's getting late. But the, 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 the moon, you know, there's a thing in the Torah about the moon. And it says like this, because the moon's very feminine. So it says in the beginning there were two great lights, the moon and the sun. And the moon said, you know, this ain't going to work. So, so the, the, the creator said, make yourself small. And the moon made herself small. And we see, we, we, we see sort of uh, this story in uh, action, uh, in the fact the moon precisely covers over the sun. I once asked this guy, Bob Berman, I knew him in Woodstock, he's the astrologer, and uh, I asked him, how extraordinary is this? And he's a guy, he's very scientific. He said, it's so extraordinary, it's like someone put it there. <laughs> you know? And, uh, uh, and, and but the, the Hasidim explain. And uh, by, by the way, this is Menachem here. He wrote all these books. He was very great. This is his grandfather here. These guys wrote like these wonderful books. And uh, uh, and in the Hasidut, it explains like this: that should we wait for you to? Uh, okay. Uh, <clears throat> Generally, it looks like a reproval, like a, you know, like, hey, you, you don't like it, you make yourself small. But it was rather an advice. You're the feminine. Be diminutive. Be small. Go in. Let the male, you know, put all its energy out there. And in this way, you will fix it. And this is what's gone on for 6,000 years. Really, the female has been very diminutive. And now we're going into a uh, time of woman. So, uh, here's for ushering in woman. <laughs>